right so why should you learn about finances credit you know how to control what you spend and a whole lot more what's going on everybody your boy juan valdez back with another video and today we're going to be talking about the importance of finance now of course i'm no accounting but i do know a thing about a thing or two about controlling how much you spend compared to how much you're actually making hey boy Put up. you know a lot of us uh at a certain point in time when it comes to finances we make some money we save some but we tend to spend a lot more than what we save and i didn't have much you know money you know growing up so for me learning about money early on was super important and super valuable you know i got to learn about why i should save the importance of saving so like how hard it really is for some people to earn money right i know a lot of you guys that are watching you may already be good at saving money so for you guys that's awesome man props to you guys but for those of you guys that aren't good at saving money it is something that you guys are going to want to work on right it is super important to know about finances you guys may have heard about my story one of my biggest motivating factors was to get money so i can get a car so i finally wouldn't have to walk as much as i used to how i was able to do that is by obviously saving money right i wasn't able to just buy a car right off the gate let me tell you guys as a teenager it is very hard to actually save up when you see your friends buying sneakers you know going out all the time movies partying doing a whole lot more right just pretty much blowing all the money I know how that goes so I know I have a lot of you guys watching maybe teenagers but some of you guys may be a lot, little older but it's the same thing right when we see friends and families you know blowing money on you know clothes going out and a whole lot more obviously you know we tend to want to do the same just because we're either in the moment or obviously we just want to have nice things as well so it's not easy to save up at the time for me it honestly took a lot of discipline when I started working when I started making money I would save a majority of what I got paid right off the gate, right? So whenever I got paid, my paychecks, they weren't that much. But let's say if I made 300, I was automatically saving $200. I would transfer $200 over to my savings account and I would only keep the $100, any potential use that I had. Maybe I had to pay any bills or whatever the case may be. But that was a saving strategy that I had and I actually still use up to date. Save 60% of my income and I would keep the 40 for what I needed to use it for. I would not blow it on ridiculous things. When I was doing door-to-door -door sales, I obviously started to make a little more money and I was doing the same exact thing, right? I was saving a majority of the money that I was making and for me, that was super useful by doing so. I was always in a situation where anytime that I wanted to go out or do things with friends, I never had to worry about thinking if I had money to do it. I knew I was able to do it and wouldn't have to think about it because I had money saved up. If you take advantage and you just take instant gratification and you just don't sacrifice any moments, you know, of going out, you know, partying, all these different things, and you just spend all your money, you're never gonna be able to do things that you actually want to do when the opportunity arises, right? You're going to be in a situation where, you know, you don't have the money available, so you can't do it, right? And you never want to be in that situation. So for me, I was always in a situation where I was able to do pretty much anything that I wanted. Nothing crazy, of course, because again, we're not talking about a lot of money because when I first got started with e-commerce, you guys know that, some of you guys that have heard about my story know that I had $2,000 that I had saved up uh, apart from other expense money that I had obviously saved as well because usually I save enough to cover all my expenses but I also obviously had money left over. I had $2,000 that I had saved up that I had set aside specifically for any experiment, right? And this was specifically for a business experiment. Because I had those $2,000 available, that's why me and my business partner were able to actually test out e-commerce and you know see if we could make anything happen and of course you guys know we were able to go from zero to over 220 grand a month but it's also important so i had the help of saving money being able to, you know being good at finances and having credit was one of the two biggest factors when it came to you know time to start that e-commerce business so that was you know huge for me because of course if i didn't know you know if i wasn't good with finances and i wasn't good with credit obviously i wouldn't be able to start the e-commerce business but those skill sets that you get are a lot po more powerful than just being good at saving money and being able to you know control how much you spend versus how much you make because those same principles i now apply to my e-commerce business right so now what we do is uh, obviously we're making sales every single day every single time that we go through our finances whether it be weekly or you know at the end of the day whatever the case may be as soon as we get a deposit from you know, from when the, the, the payment's clear, I automatically still move 60% of the total profits that I get into the savings account, into the, bit. obviously I have a business account now, so I move it right into the, base, the, the business account, and I only keep 40% or less in the actual checkings account in case, 
you know, I need something, we need something for the business or a whole lot more. And so that principle is important because that has also allowed us to save a ton of money in the business itself and do other things, right? Like go to masterminds. We wouldn't have been able to save money. We wouldn't have been able to take advantage of that opportunity. And we wouldn't have been, meet, have been able to meet, you know, some of our other mentors like Alex Mir. That's actually where we met him. And we wouldn't have a connection with a mentor of ours like Ty Lopez if we didn't have the opportunity to invest in ourselves and attend that event. Uh, some of you guys know I used to sell cell phones before when I was first getting started in entrepreneurship. Well, that was my first venture as a teenager. The reason why I was able to buy and flip cell phones was because I had money saved up from you know my previous job as uh, a lifeguard. So that's just one example. And it's the same thing now. You know, whenever we want to do things like maybe invest in Bitcoin, invest in real estate, or maybe start another business venture, we're able to do that because I have money saved up. And now any opportunities come my way, I'm able to take part in it. And this is huge because you can have good opportunities come your way. And if you can't take advantage of them, it's pretty much pointless. This is the place where I live at here in Los Angeles. That's the pool over there. Palm trees. We got like a lounge area. We have a pool table. We got Pluto. I hope you guys got value from this video. Of course, if you did, make sure you drop a like. Of course, if you have any questions about anything we went over, finance or credit, drop a comment below. Also, let me know if you guys would be interested in you know, me making more videos just like these. I wanna leave the content that I produce you know, somewhat up to you guys, right? I wanna make videos that are gonna be valuable to you guys, so definitely let me know. Drop a comment below on what kind of videos you guys would like to see. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the VFAM, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh,